The only way to dispel darkness is by introducing light. So I'm stopping by today to turn the light on for you and to encourage you to do the same for somebody else. Let's flood the world with the light of the world. Let's flood our day with the light so that we can dispel all of the darkness that's around. Jesus is the light of the world and we who know him have the great privilege of being bearers of light. So today we're looking at Lamentations chapter 3 starting at verse 22. It says, It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. It is so good to know that when we wake up in the morning, there is a fresh set of mercy that is given to us, that is distributed to us. It is good to know that when we come to God and we say, God, I have failed, I have messed up, and we repent of our sins, that God is right there willing to cleanse us of our unrighteousness, forgive us of them, and then begin to put us on our way. It is of his mercies that we are not consumed. Without his mercies, without the reality of his constant giving us mercy and grace and love and all of that, there is no hope for us. But because of the fact that he is who he is, we can have hope and joy in our day. We can start the day off with so much joy because we know that the stuff of yesterday doesn't have to control us if we will come to him and if our relationship with him is one that we're really taking advantage of. What other relationships do we have where when we fall, all we have to do is truly be repentant and we don't ever have to worry about him it being dug up again. There's no other relationships like that. With him, we have the perfect opportunity to succeed. But here is the thing, the other portion of this passage that is so important. Great is his faithfulness. God's love for us is so consistent. It does not change. It does not fail. It never runs out. Yes, his mercies are there every morning. But if we only see his mercies in the scope of I mess up and he forgives me, then we miss a true life-changing element of it and it's this his mercies are there because his love is greater than his mercy his love for you is so important it's so powerful it's so life-changing that he would uh, allow there to be this outflow of overwhelming mercy for us great is his faithfulness today as you go through your day you're going to face stuff some will make you happy some of those things will make you happy some will not some people will have some extreme highs today some will have some extreme lows some will be somewhere in the middle but understand that that faithful god whose mercies are new is a loving god and his love causes him to be with you today you don't go through your day alone today because he is right there with you the issue is not whether or not god is going to show up it's whether or not you're going to look around and see that he is there Here's what I want to encourage you to do. Here's how I want to turn the light on for you today. You're not in this alone. God loves you so much and he's preparing you to succeed. He is setting you up for success, giving you mercy after mercy, being faithful to you, even though we may not deserve that faithfulness. So today as you face whatever you face, when it's good, celebrate it. Acknowledge that God is there. Give him praise. If it is not that great, Go to him with it and understand that not only does he have mercies that are so overwhelming that we have what we need for each day and the next day comes with new mercies, but he also has the ability to carry on him the burdens that consume us, the burdens that are heavy, that weigh us down. You are not in this alone. You don't face today alone, but you face it with a God that loves you and wants to help you not only go through this day, but succeed in this day for his glory, all for his glory, so that his light can be introduced into the world that's around. God bless you. I love you. Take some time to share, comment, post, repost, make all uh, a post of your own. But let's introduce some light into the darkness all around. God bless you. I love you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.